As soon as you get into your Google Classroom, what you'll see is the main banner, some tabs at the top, and some other features that are on this main page. I'm gonna talk about all of these features. This is just a general orientation of Google Classroom. You'll see that you have an upcoming space where any upcoming assignments are due, so that way you can quickly get to them. This area in the stream is where anything chronological happens. You can reorder them, I don't recommend it, but you can reorder the events that happen in the stream. But anything that you post here, where you click on announcements, it would go in the stream and only in the stream. You do have the option to customize the stream, which I'll get into in future videos. But again, this is just a quick overview. You can select your theme if you wanna adjust the color scheme of it. You can also upload your own photos, but you have to know a little bit about photo editing and getting the correct resolution for those pictures. The other thing you'll want to keep in mind is that along here at the top, you have a classwork tab. This classwork tab is where any assignments you create exist. I don't recommend using the stream for assignments. The classwork tab is really where it's at because then you have the ability to organize any assignments, quiz assignments, questions, materials, or reuse posts, and you can organize them by topics. The topics, as you build them, will appear on the left-hand side, so that way you can get quick links directly to those topics. You also have a people tab, and the people tab is where any students or teachers that are connected to your classroom will reside. From here, you can email, you can message, you can mute students, you can add teachers and give them the capability of being able to participate in your class. So that way you're co-teachers. Otherwise, your students will use the class code, which is listed here. It's also listed in the stream. By clicking this, you can see a large version of it. So students can either be added directly or you can give them a code. You also have a grades page where anything that you post in the classwork tab that includes assignments, quiz assignments, or questions, things that can be graded will reside here. You'll see the names of them, the names of your students, and then you'll also see the capability of seeing their scores. You can also adjust the scores directly from here and also get directly to a student's work from here as it's hot linked all the way through. The other thing you'll need to keep in mind is that you have a settings button. That gear allows you to adjust the class details as well as some other settings. And I will get into more detail as to what each of these are, but I wanted to make sure that you had a quick overview of what each of these tabs were. The last item that I will point out that's very important is the question mark on the bottom left. This is where you can report any issues that you're having with Google Classroom directly to Google, or you can actually request features. So Google actually does pay attention to this. So any feedback that you give them, they will consider. And the more feedback on a topic, the more likely they are to adjust Google Classroom to suit teacher needs. That's a quick orientation of Google Classroom.